on this episode of Good Enough Motorsports, we'll be doing some uh, interior work. Much needed work indeed. So I've been grinding away, in a way, in a way, and well, as I lift the carpet here, I realize ooh, this might be more of a sticking point. Well, may not help. I also notice over here. Ooh, what is that under there? That is a bit of daylight. Uh oh, that means that. Um, I can't reach it from underneath, but there's gonna be a little bit of bodywork that needs to happen. And too bad, this is not really good. Although, I do feel a bit of flexing. It's, it's not gonna give out or anything, but I wouldn't mind a bit more structure in there. But that's neither here nor there. So, uh, I was planning on having. Boom, it's sprayed here. I'll try to clean this up as much as I can. Probably do at least this area. Um, over here, like I said, that's going to be a bit problematic. Um, I don't know, I can't really pull it any further than that. So, uh, that remains to be seen. I'll try to do as much as I can.
All right. So we almost there for part. Let's say one of four. On this scrub inside, pretty stiff bristle. Actually, did a decent job. But it's time for the spray on boom mat. I don't have really high expectations to dampen noise and vibration, but it's better than nothing. The worst it can do is nothing. Let's try it out. And this is what it looks with the first coat down. Unfortunately, even given how big of a can that is, that's about all I can get out of it. A one coat of, well, the rear front floorboard. Granted, I, I do lay it on thick, so this may have something to do with it. I'll wait for this to dry. I have a few questions going through my mind. Why is the clutch so damn fucky? And what's my next move gonna be for this car? I'm honestly not too sure. What? I'm okay. Got a working on old cars. It's one issue, we create another. So this engine mount bracket was contacting on the uh, Red hose, and my father and I cleared that last night, but we did it off camera as we were short on time. It was getting dark quick, but in doing so, I believe when we reinstalled the engine mount, we might have put that a bit too low. Sure, because now at idle, the car is vibrating. Like there's no tomorrow. I wonder if maybe the gearbox no, doesn't seem to be contacting. What could it be then? Hmm. I have to investigate that. All right. This is this car's just about normal idle. That it were a thousand. I've gone for a bit of a drive. Uh, the Lorama and back to get this fucking poison. And uh, yeah, many stop signs, many, many red lights. Uh, no harsh vibration. I believe what I've done might have worked. I simply loosened the two uh, engine mount brackets that are on the engine and then tightened them back up thinking that maybe when we tightened them last night it wasn't at the optimal position so the engine was shifted just a bit but man what a difference it made but now it's running smooth Whoa. this is always a bit of vibration but it is to be expected so on the ongoing quest of packing down small issues with the 92 um, one of the V-bands, I'm not sure which, got smacked last week and the car ever since has been quite a bit louder, noticeably louder. So I'm starting from up here, couldn't start from up there because, well, 20 valve exhaust manifolds are not readily available at North American dealerships. So, eBay to the rescue. But these were available. Those two um, 
O-shaped gasket were found on other models besides the uh, 20 valves. So they're available. Next up, I'll be taking a look at the V-bands. But I'm mostly, first of all, I'm changing out the uh, gaskets up here. very likely lead to the sound of a leak. You serve me well, Walker. Ah, this one isn't so bad. But yeah, that one clearly has some damage. Or, I'll just say, it has served its purpose. Good to go. Those are Toyota items. Quite a bit pricier than a walker. But the thing I like to do is dab a bit of grease uh, on it and stick it inside of the header and then bolt the bottom flange, uh, or rather the downpipe flange. There are no all tightened with the same grunt torque. One sixteenth of a moose's grunt. Still don't catch that reference. Go oh, watch Speed Academy! What are you doing? We will come this obscure part. Of course, that like me and Josh. Um, they're not. 
happy. This is not where they wish to meet. This one is pretty firmly mounted, being bolted straight to the header. This one. This one. Pretty much as far as it can go. So, yeah. Um, okay. I can do something about it. I can force them to coexist, but ideally they should uh, they should line up of their own accord, which is well clearly not the case at the moment. So. Then again, uh, the flange is not back all the way up. I'm hoping not to have to cut that bit. It's not a big deal, but if reworking uh, in that area could be done, it would be best. Because now the exhaust system is con constantly under stress. So, and uh, <laughs> 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 Sounds good from up here. Well, of course it would. system with a degree of uh, success but at least I know at least one of the gas gets was bad so funny win <laughs> 